welcome to one and all on this cracking Friday the 31st which is the last day of the year 2021 and with these views on this Friday morning I would like to use them to introduce my video which will be uploaded to YouTube on Sunday January the 2nd 2022 there's no visits to sites this week because they're all on holiday so I do hope you enjoy what I was able to get for you. I must get on with it now. So once again, thank you all very, very much for everything. A very warm welcome to one and all on this Wednesday the 29th. Now today's video is all about the goings on along Topping Street and Edward Street. First of all, we start in Topping Street with some very, very unfortunate news. Alfie, Alfie the hairdresser, he's been here for 40 years. Well, he has retired. Yes, this business now closed down. Alfie the hairdresser, and we wish him a happy retirement. We are now going a short distance along Topping Street. I'll see you when I get there. I am now in the correct position to show you across the road that marvellous job that's been done with these two ground floor shops and the apartments above. A beautiful job here. And next door we see the cash and carry bed superstore. We have a video of that inside in past videos. Next door to that there was an, there was an actual barber shop here called the man cave well even that now and it has been going on for many many months this is also being refurbished this will be a new business very very soon inside has been gutted and next door mama's restaurant with further work having been finished on the facade here I'm going to show you even the new roof everything inside and outside of mama's restaurants all brand new or refurbished it's beautiful inside and as said outside as well congratulations to all involved with these four businesses we've moved now down virtually the end of topping street there's iceland there because we're going to turn sharp left down deansgate that's our next venue the back of edward street Right outside now, the very well known and liked Deansgate Kitchen. Now opposite, directly opposite, is that little alleyway which we have ventured down a couple of times in the past. Now you will notice that part of this at the back of those three shops and flats above, it has been rendered. This part here has been rendered, however, it's waiting its top texturing coat. There we are, that's the part that has been textured, and this is the part that hasn't. This is the project of a Bambas. Now we're coming now to the back of that new South American theme bar and eating venue. Again, progress here. I'm going to take you round the front now. This is the back. We're going round the front right now. And here we are, Edward Street. And these are the three shops and the flats above that you have seen from the back view. All coming along very nicely indeed. Beautifully finished, as I've said a couple of times in the past now. However, it's a wonderful job. And then we come into Ansem. Now, I've brought you round the front to again show you, I think I didn't do this justice, this, this facade here. Well, not the facade these low walls and railings that have been placed here 
So that's why that's why we're here. I want to give emphasis on these low walls and black railings. A lovely job. Even a new low wall next door to the new themed bar. That's the theme bar in front of you with the imitation flowers. So that's our, that's our visits today, Topping Street and Edward Street, highlighting, highlighting, yes, these railings and low walls. Great job. I had a wonderful evening planned on this New Year's Eve on the Friday the 31st. However, at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, amongst the lovely Christmas trees opposite the Blackpool Tower itself, I regret to say that the firework party that we were due to attend, and I would have loved to have taken you all there, has been cancelled at virtually the last moment. Yes, a couple of hours ago, the firework party is now cancelled due to high winds and the threat of those winds helping the COVID virus. What a shame, I had a wonderful evening planned. However, there will be others coming along. I apologise to all the people who have travelled with their families to see this. This is the upsetting part of it. People have travelled and now nothing. This is not the only event today to be cancelled at very short notice. Hairspray. Now that's been cancelled today as well in the Winter Gardens. And I'm told there is already a very, very long queue of people waiting for immediate refunds. I will just take you there to show you the queues. So again, I apologise. I'm only a small channel. I'm very sorry for all the people that have travelled. I really am. So let's go and see the queues at the Winter Gardens for their refunds for hairspray. Here we are outside the Winter Gardens and the big queue waiting for their refunds. Now, I'm not going to get too close as there's many, many children and I don't want to catch those in the video. Well, regretfully, that's all I can show on New Year's Eve. I had lots more planned. However, all I can do now is to return home a lot earlier than expected. I am now looking down to the ice rink and the comedy carpet from the first floor of Blackpool Tower. And it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon on New Year's Day and the promenade is packed. It really is. Just moved along to another view, looking out from one of the windows of Blackpool Tower. And this one, you can see more clearly the comedy carpet and the North Pier itself. Masses of people about. Now, with a continued view looking out of this window, I would like to tell you I'm now going to take you to see that ride around the world in action. And also to tell you that will signify the end of this video for the week. This part showing the ride in action is all put to music. So I say a very goodbye to one and all and continue in to enjoy this festive season. Thank you for watching, and as said, have a good time. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.